Okay, so this is the last video in our series of verifying trigonometric identities. Here we're going to verify that tan theta minus secant theta of that quantity squared is equal to 1 minus sine theta over 1 plus sine theta. So the first thing I'm going to do here, both sides look like they're kind of challenging to deal with. I'm going to actually expand uh, the left-hand side of the equation first and see what happens. Then we may end up actually working on the right-hand side of the equation on this one as well. So let's take a look at what happens when we expand on uh, the left-hand side. So here we're going to multiply tan theta minus secant theta times tan theta minus secant theta. All right, because tan theta minus secant theta the quantity squared is equal to tan theta minus secant theta times tan theta minus secant theta. So we're going to multiply this out. Tan time, excuse me, tan theta times tan theta is tan squared theta. Tan theta times negative secant theta is negative tan theta secant theta. Negative secant theta times tan theta is negative tan theta secant theta and then negative secant theta times negative secant theta is positive secant squared theta. And again, this should equal one minus sine theta over one plus sine theta. Now again, on the left-hand side, it looks like we have some terms that we can combine, so I'm gonna do that before we go any further. So tan squared theta, minus tan, tan secant theta and minus tan secant theta is now minus two tan secant theta plus secant squared theta and that's equal to one minus sine theta over one plus sine theta. Now again, this shouldn't come as a big surprise because this follows the perfect square trinomial pattern. So if you recognize that that follows the perfect square trinomial pattern, you can kind of save yourself a little bit of arithmetic and just jump from this step down to this step. All right, otherwise, do all the multiplication. All right. So again, if we take a look, the right-hand side of the equation is expressed in terms of signs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite any expression that I see over here that can be converted into sines and cosines. That's what I'll end up doing. So tan squared theta should be sine squared theta cosine squared theta minus 2, this is sine theta over cosine theta. Secant is 1 over cosine theta. And then secant squared is 1 over cosine squared theta. And again, actually some nice things start to happen here. Um, if you look, when we simplify this middle expression, we're going to get a denominator of cosine squared theta. So we can actually combine all of these fractions. And when we do that, we're going to get sine squared theta minus 2 sine theta plus 1 all over cosine squared theta. And again, when you multiply these together, you get cosine squared theta. So that's why we're able to combine those fractions together. Now again, at the end, this whole thing is supposed to equal 1 minus sine theta over 1 plus sine theta. Okay, now one thing that I recognize now is that the top, completely written in terms of sines, which is good. The bottom, written in terms of cosines. All right, so we could do some factoring here if we wanted to. The other option that we have is we can actually go over to the right-hand side. Um, and if you remember in the last video, we multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And I'm going to try that here to see what happens. So I'm going to multiply by 1 minus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta. Now again, the reason why, or one of the reasons why I chose to do this, is when I multiply this out, this is going to follow the perfect square trinomial pattern, which this does as well. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. Sorry, I'm going to get out of the way of the camera here. Okay. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative sine is minus sine theta. Negative sine theta times 1 is negative sine 
theta, and then negative sine theta times negative sine theta is positive sine squared theta, and that's all over one times one is one, one times negative sine theta is negative sine theta, sine theta times one is positive sine theta, so those zero out, sine theta times negative sine theta is negative sine squared theta. So if we look, we can simplify the top here. This is going to become 1 minus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta, which if we analyze this, that's exactly what we see over on this side. Positive sine squared theta, positive sine squared theta. Negative 2 sine theta, negative 2 sine theta. Positive 1 positive one. So the tops of these two fractions are identical. And then if you look, we have minus sine squared theta. That actually is equal to cosine squared theta, as we know. And now the bottoms are the same as well. So again, this is another identity that we verified.